Y'all, today is the day that she finally gets some new feet. Y'all, look at this. I do not advise y'all to do this, right? But that one getting replaced, dudes, these two getting replaced. I'm changing that one out with the spear because the spear brand new. I'm putting this as a spear. I'm changing that one. Also that one. Yo, I literally drove as far as I could with this. Look at this. But y'all see where we at with it? Discount tires. As y'all can see behind me, discount tires. I ordered the tires. I'm having them install it for me. It really ain't that bad. I only paying $164 for all seven to be changed. Reason why it's seven. So like I said, before y'all come for me, the truck has six tires on it, six tires on it. But I'm having them take off the spare because the spare brand new. The tire that's not bad, I'm turning that into a spare because all I need to do is to get me that, that, for that to get me down the street. I don't know why my words jumbled up today. So put the new tire on there, make that old tire spare because it's not bad. It's still got a lot of life on it. It was like seven, five, and six. So I might as well just put them all out and have seven all the way across. That's the tread depth. So that's what I'm doing, but it's a track to supply. If y'all know me, I'm going to track the supply. Anytime I see one. But I got a lot of stuff to do today. I got to wash the truck, clean out the truck, fix the truck, and we hit the road tomorrow, man. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all, they did the dog so wrong. Look at him. He want to get out so bad, man. Y'all, if y'all need maintenance, track the supply the way to go. Look at this. And they don't sponsor me, by the way. I'm just letting you know. Hopefully, they will sponsor me if they see this video. But you can get your cleaning supplies, your lubricants, your bug remover, also your windshield wiper fluid, your Freon. For y'all boys running deaf, you can get your deaf. But... Take all that away. The thing that I like about tractor supply, first off, you love hunting. They got a good hunting section. If you got animals, they got a good animal section. On top of that, hold on, hold on. Y'all boys be pulling them bobcats. Y'all need stuff like that. Them chains, binders, snap binders, ratchet binders. <sighs> Y'all see, I stop here every time I can, man. Also, I forgot to tell y'all, man. I got a new hairstyle. Tell me what y'all think about it. Instead of having the big ones, I did a little small ones. They dropped down, right? Only thing I hate about it is they stay in your face. How can I be hunting and fishing and driving with these in my face? But I did go fishing. I'm going to drop a little blooper of that. They cinematic fold, so it's going to be like this instead of like that. But y'all don't worry about it. Sorry. Right. Looking at these BB guns they got right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Rabbit hunting, fifty-five dollars. Y'all, let me get out of here before I spend too much money. Yo, woo! I just got big in the house. Put my do rag on, roll it down. But here's the thing: I dropped off the truck. Right, y'all seen that? They told me the truck won't be done till like one, one thirty. So like an hour and a half from now. So I'm going to come home, sit down, finna get something to eat. But as I was saying earlier, man, I do not advise you to go past that. Them tires, I had them on there. And the reason why I didn't go ahead and put new tires on there is simply because the fact I still had life on them. But that last trip I had, that's when the tires got bad. I was gone for three weeks. I want to say I put... Uh, 2,000 miles on the truck, and I was that's when they started wearing down bad. I was like, when I come home and put new tires on, and that's what y'all see now. But I do not advise y'all to ride like that. 
And once your time get to that, that point, DOT is going to fail you. That's going to go towards your CSA score. But besides that, it's not safe. That's why I'm going ahead and do everything now. New brakes, new tires. She finna get cleaned up, so she finna pass everything. Um, I have an audit coming up soon. I don't know when that's supposed to be, but I'm going to give y'all insight about that. Because it's going to be my first audit. Can't wait for tomorrow to hit this road and do what I need to do. Hopefully three weeks, come back. Because by that time, it'll be Christmas. And if y'all know Christmas, it's an expensive holiday. A very expensive holiday. Then right after that, it's my birthday. Then right after that, it, well, it goes New Year's, then my birthday. December and January, this expensive month. But that being said, man, I'm excited. I'm going to go back up here and pick your truck up at 1.30. I'm going to show you guys that. And I'm also going to show you all guys me cleaning the truck. I'm not going to bore you. I'm going to probably watch some YouTube videos. and Yo, so the truck done. Picking up the keys now. As y'all can see, Ruri done. New ties and everything. You can't tell that girl nothing. Now, as y'all can see what I was saying, this is the spare. See how much life on this? A good tire, so I just put that on there. Boy. Tell that girl nothing. She got them new tires on that Lamborghini Pepper Stepper. I can't tell you how excited I am to have my baby back with brand new tires. She smelled good, the inside cleaned up, right? I'm finna go get the water hose. I gotta go across town to my buddy house, pick up the water hose. Then after that, it's literally just washing the truck, relaxing. Come to find out I'm not going to leave out until Thursday because I have a direct shipper load that I have to pick up Wednesday. Um, once I pick that up Wednesday, I don't want to miss out on that. It's Florida to Florida paying $1,400. I don't want to miss out on that. So that being said, I go pick up, pick up a load tomorrow, probably pick up like three or four, hopefully local. Run that. Wednesday, I go do that. Thursday morning, I leave out to go out, go up towards the Midwest, right? I really don't want to go towards the Midwest just because if you know the Midwest, if you are here on the road and you know the Midwest, you know right now it's winter. Winter is unpredictable out there. You're going to have snow, sleet, rain. It says it's not going to snow. Then it snows. It'd be 60 to 80 degrees. Then it drop to be 10 to 15, right? So it's one of them is just it's just crazy a lot of people a lot of people right now do not run the midwest during the winter right and I, I i totally agree with them i respect them but it's two things it's two things i do not like to run it but somebody has to run it plus the money is crazy out there in the winter because don't nobody out there it's free play but if i could avoid it if I could avoid it, my company is not at a place where it need to be just yet for me to avoid it. So I need to run it. But that being said, if I could, I wouldn't run it. If I can make all my money through the summer and everything like that and take the winter off, I'd do that. I'll run in the south during the winter. But as of right now, I can't do that. So I'm going to go run to the money that don't nobody else want and get home before Christmas. Hopefully, theoretically, God willing. I got to say all three of those because it, who knows? But that was another reason why I went ahead and got tires. I don't want to drive on the ice. I do not want to drive on ice with ball tires. I do not want to drive on snow with ball tires. And also the main reason for safety and the DOT. But that third one play a big factor in it too. I'm not going to sit here and act like it doesn't. Man, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Plus, that give me more time to spend time at the house and go fishing. I might hit my buddy up to see if he want to go hunting, go hog hunting. Psh, man, psh, man, I'm excited. I'm excited. But, like I said, I ain't going to put you with all this talking. But you know, that girl, Riri, Ooh, hey, she done went and got some Jordans. She got Jordans in the front. 
cowboy boots in the back. Ha <laughs> ha, come out. But nah, man, I see y'all when I go get this water hose and start washing the truck. I ain't got nobody to hold the camera for me, right? But I want to show y'all the difference. Okay, perfect example right here. Look at the door. To this. Y'all, she coming along. All this done. Just got to come back and do this. Listen. I'm trying to learn how to do this the right way. But it's so hard trying to film the stuff that I do because it's hands-on. I do everything myself, most of it. Besides, like, the transmission, the major components on the motor. But stuff like that, I don't, I don't do myself. I can't record because it go to the shop. But like washing the truck, cleaning out the truck, changing the oil, changing the brakes, stuff like that. It's kind of hard because I'm doing it myself, right? Plus I got to hold a camera. I have help every now and then. But besides that, it's kind of difficult. So I'm gonna get back with y'all when I finish the truck because I got something to tell y'all, man. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all, all that's left to do right now, whoo, that light hitting, y'all see me? All I have to do now is wipe down the door jam, do the tires. That's it. And tell y'all what I gotta tell y'all. OTM fam, just like that, we done. Check it out. Probably can't really see because the light in there, but. Eee. Look at them tired. There we go. You can see better this way. Somebody shot at me. Look at this. God damn it, ran me out of Ohio, man. Y'all, that's a good little workout. But it needed to be done. And let me tell y'all this if you're washing your own truck, right? It's always good to have a microfiber rag because you can hit areas that a regular sponge can't get. Also, if you got roll grime, like if you run how we run, you can scratch it off with a little soap and, and soap in the micro wrap. But also, it cleaned the door jam. Do I have water? Let's see if I got some water. I'm tired, bro. What y'all doing looking in my refrigerator? Huh? Y'all thought y'all was slick. Ain't nothing to eat now. I'm always gone. That ain't it. That ain't it. 
I don't see how y'all people just eat, just drink almond milk or eat almond milk with cereal. That ain't it. Y'all listen to me. What I just did was simple. It took an hour, maybe two hours. But that's because I went in every nook and cranny of that truck. That truck haven't been cleaned in eight months. The reason being, when I came home to put that transmission in, Dodge had it for six months or well, seven months, and then I just went out a month. So that truck hasn't been cleaned, but I just cleaned it. Like I said, y'all see me do the door jams, y'all see me do the tires, y'all see me do the whole truck, right? And it's a good workout to get your heartbeat going, get your heart rate up. Plus, you save money, right? But now, what I had to tell y'all is this. I don't know where the trucking world going. I don't know what's going to happen, right? Hopefully, when this election comes, we get somebody, we get a good president. I'm not a politic person. I don't get into politics. But hopefully we get a president that's actually going to do good for us, actually fight for us. And when I say us, I'm talking about small companies, small business, um, workers, middle class. You know what I mean? Because right now, is we, we are the ones that are struggling. And we're the backbone of America. We keep America going. That being said, I hopefully, like I say, hopefully we get somebody in there that's going to help us. And to the end, all we could do, man, is keep going. Keep going. Believe me, I know the struggle. I got two trucks, two trucks, and they're killing me. But I can't give up. I can't give up. I got all y'all watching me. I know I got somebody out there that I'm giving them hope. I'm the one that's giving them hope. I'm the one that's letting them keep doing what they're doing. So people looking up to me. So I got to keep going for y'all. I can't give up. Even when I think about giving up, man, I think about y'all, man. And y'all really would keep me going. Plus... 2023 is going to be a new year. We two months away from that. So look, man, let's go. You understand what I'm saying? But I wanted to get over here and just do a little inspiration. That's what I had to tell y'all. I wasn't that serious. But somebody might need to hit it. I don't know who it's for. But I just had one of the moments where I needed to share that. But listen, man, this video already been long. Y'all see me change the tires. See me change the brakes earlier. You see me go um, wash the truck. You see me clean the inside. So I'm going to end the video with this, man. Y'all keep them tired bouncing, man. I love y'all.